Welcome to Technically and Sports Info. Subscribe for more industrial topics explained in simple language. Today we are learning about the three main types of trays used inside a distillation column. Trays allow vapor and liquid to contact each other properly so separation can take place. Even though all trays do the same basic job, their design, performance, and cost are different. 1. Sieve Trays Sieve trays are the most basic and commonly used type. They are flat metal plates with many small holes. When vapor rises from the bottom, it passes through these holes and contacts the liquid on the tray. These trays are cheap, lightweight, and easy to install, but they need the right vapor flow. If the vapor flow is too low, the liquid may drain through the holes, reducing efficiency. 2. Bubble Cap Trays Bubble cap trays have vertical risers with caps on top. Vapor moves up through the riser and then escapes from slots under the cap, bubbling through the liquid. These trays provide very good contact even when flow rates change. They are often used in older plants or where operating conditions vary. However, they are more expensive and harder to clean compared to sieve trays. 3. Valve Trays Valve trays use small liftable valves on each hole. When vapor pressure increases, the valves rise and allow vapor to pass. When flow is low, the valves sit down and prevent liquid from leaking. These trays are flexible, efficient, and widely used in modern columns. They provide a balance between cost and performance. In summary, sieve trays are simple and economical, bubble cap trays give strong contact at any flow, and valve trays offer flexibility and efficiency. Subscribe to Technically and Sports Info for more easy industrial explanations.